In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the All Party Suriyat Conference has called upon the international community to resolve the Kashmir dispute to prevent the incessant killing spree by Indian troops in the territory. The APC spokesman in a statement in Srinagar lauded the resistance character of the prayer people of Jammu and Kashmir and sought intervention by the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres to prevent ruthless killings, in fact encounters, arbitrary arrests and destruction of houses and other infrastructure by the occupation troops. The APSC condemned the continued illegal house detention of Mirwais Mohammad Marfaru and other Hurriyat leaders by the Indian authorities. Kashmiris are also humans and it is high time to raise the slogan that Kashmiris lives also matter. Kashmir Media Service in a report released today said Indian state terrorism continues to wreak havoc with the Kashmiris lives as unending stories of tragedy and trauma are continuously emerging from Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, in a statement, announced to observe February as the month of Muhammad Makbul Bhatt and release Muhammad Yasin Mali campaign. It said that party would commemorate the martyrdom days of Muhammad Makbul Bhatt and Muhammad Abdul Guru in a commendable way from the next week. Fahad Shah, the founding editor of the Srinagar-based media outlet, the Kashmir Wala, has been remanded to 10 days custody by Judicial Magistrate Pulwama. He was arrested in connection with the publication of reports on fact encounters in the occupied territory. Meanwhile, the National Conference, People's Democratic Party, Congress and other political parties have slammed the draft report of the Delimitation Commission in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, saying that no political, social and administrative reason can justify the recommendations. PDP spokesman said that the commission, instead of a constitutional body, had proved itself to be as a frontal organization of the ruling Bhatia Janata Party in India. Senior Congress leader Safuddin Sol said that Indian Home Minister Amit Shah was not reading the situation in Kashmir correctly. On the other hand, Kashmiri diaspora and members of Pakistani community holding banners and placards inscribed with freedom for all, freedom for Kashmir, we demand human rights, gathered outside the Indian embassy in Washington in sub-zero temperature to express solidarity with the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The protest was organized by World Kashmir Awareness Forum and Islamic Circle of North America. Pakistan embassies in Saudi Arabia, Ankara, Turkey, Vienna, Austria, Pretoria, South Africa, and Pakistan consulates in Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal, Canada also arranged a series of events comprising pictorial exhibitions, screening of documentaries, webinars, seminars, and roadshows to mark the Kashmir Solidarity Day.